More than one and a half million Americans take prescription niacin each year. It's a form of vitamin B thought to improve heart health by raising good cholesterol. But today, the government stopped a study involving high doses of niacin over concerns that the drug may do more harm than it actually does good. Dr. John LaPook is our medical correspondent. Why was this study stopped? Harry, this study looked at whether adding high-dose niacin to a statin would lower the risk of heart attack and stroke in patients who are already at high risk for heart disease. It did not. And not only that, it slightly increased the risk of a stroke that could have been by chance, but it was worrisome. This is pretty dramatic. They stopped this right in its tracks. Doctors were amazed across okay. the country. Uh, this is not the first time. This has happened several times now in the last couple of years in heart studies where they're trying to work with new drugs and they've stopped them cold. Why? And, and what, what's of concern here is that in some of these drug failures, the drugs were already on the market being taken by millions of people. So clearly the FDA has to make sure before it approves a drug mm -hmm. that it doesn't just improve a blood test, that it actually helps a patient. So we have all of these people, more than a million, who are taking niacin. Should they be concerned or what should they do? Well, the government specifically gave advice on this, which is do not stop taking the niacin on your own. As always, check with your doctor. All right, Dr. John LaPook, thank you very much.